Um, hello. Uh, I'm here to bring you some very important news, um, that I- I just discovered. Um, about, uh, a game- gaming industry- gaming industry company named Platinum Games Inc. Um, so basically the deal is that I've developed this complex theory about Platinum Games and how they are working for the Japanese government. You see, it all, it all kind of goes back to, to old Japanese imperialism where they wanted to take over the world. And, you know, they, they would stop at nothing and, um, you know, it just, just, they would stop at nothing and they were ruthless and, you, you know, and for a while that, that stopped, you know, um, America came in and we said, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. We're, we're, we're land of the free, home of the brave. We can't let you do that. And so we stopped them in World War II. And so, basically, uh, Japan has gained, um, a bit, I guess, I guess you'd call it a bit of a resurgence in, um, in, um, you know, uh, wanting to take over the world again. And they have the power now to do that, which, which has me very worried, very worried indeed, because now they're basically doing it through this company. Platinum Games. You see, Platinum Games, um, one of the, the big developers at Platinum Games is, is this guy Hideki Kamiya, or something like that. I don't know, I can't, I can't pronounce Japanese names very well, but this guy, he's worked on a lot of, a lot of, uh, popular hack and slash games, and, um, so, basically what, if you if you if you look at what he's done and you know the the role of corporations in Japan and the relation to the government it's it's very easy and you can you can tell that Platinum Games is working for the Japanese government and Hideki Kamiya is playing a vital role in this this uh insurgents of wanting to take over the world because that is Japan and Platinum Games ultimate goal they want to take over the world okay so basically it comes down to Platinum Games and Kamiya's games you know what the, the actual products that they're putting out um these products, these games, they're called hack and slash games, they're called beat em up games, and, um, so, I'm going to look up Platinum Games, their, their discography, their bibliography of games, um, so there's Mad World, there's Bayonetta, Vanquish, Anarchy Reigns, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and Hideki Kamiya, he also worked on this game called Devil May Cry for the PS2. And what do all these games have in common? Well, they have one thing in common. They, they, uh, they're button mashers. They're beat em ups. They're hacking slashes. And, well, what does that really tell you about, about the, the games themselves? Well, they don't require much, much skill. They don't require much thought. They don't require much of anything except your own. You can do this. You do this. Button mash. You button mash. And um, that's very scary to me because this is becoming a popular thing through Platinum Games. In not only Japan, but in the West as well. As Platinum Games is very popular in the West. So... What what does Platinum Games have to do with 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 the government of Japan and taking over the world? Well, by making these button mashers, um, Platinum Games is pretty much dumbing 
down the population of, of not only Japan, but now the West as well. And dumbing dumbing us down because we're all, all we're doing is this. As opposed to learning about a game. And this is pretty evident with Metal Gear Revengeance. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. You know, they took a it took a well established franchise which was known for its intellectual storytelling and turned it into a button masher. Because what do they want to do? They want to make you dumber. They want to make you dumb. They don't want you to think. They just want you to press those buttons, and kill that guy, press X, press A, kill another guy, kill kill the next guy harder, and then I don't know. But it's it's pretty scary. Pretty scary to me. Um, and I really don't want Japan taking over the world because we've seen. The terrible things that they do. Rape of non-king anybody? Does that ring a bell? <sighs> well, it's... I mean, you know, you guys m might not agree because you're not as well educated. But one of... They just... Through these games, they want to desensitize you to violence. They want, they want you to... To not be able to think. They want you to just do this. Say yes, okay, I will kill that guy. Because Japan is becoming a fascist state. And they don't... They don't want you to be able to think. They just want you to be able to kill people on, on a whim. And do what they say. And if you question them, then you're, you're a bad guy. You're, you're an idiot. You're gonna die. And if you want proof of this, you, if you want proof, you're saying, um, hey, man, where's where's the proof of this? What, what do you get off saying saying that we, we're, we're being dumbed down, we're being desensitized? Well, if you look at uh, Devil May Cry threads on a on a um, image board, anonymous image board about video games, um, I'll about the new look at one of their threads you know about the new new devil may cry coming out it's it's not intelligent discussion you can tell that these people are not intelligent at all you know they they have some mental issues because they're not they're not uh, able to convene in intel and and practice intelligent get discourse so platinum games is working for the japanese government with the goal of making you dumber so that Japan can control you, control Japan, control the West, control you, enslave you, and eventually convert you into one of them. So, what do I say? Don't buy their games. Don't buy any hack and slash games. Um, buy good games, intelligent games with story. Or, you know, don't buy video games. Just buy uh, literature, you know. Buy, buy literature. It's for smart people. And it, no one's trying to control you through that.